Queen Gem Beauty and it's your girl Queen Gem back in the building to bring you guys another video. So this video is going to be a Dollar Tree haul. Yes, I think I skipped last month's Dollar Tree haul. I just really didn't find too much. But this month I found quite a bit of things that I want to show you guys. So let's go ahead and get into this haul. So you guys, all the stuff that I'm going to share with you today is just going to be in a random order. Just stuff that I was running around the store finding. I found some really good deals and some really nice things that I think you guys will definitely love. Um, if you guys remember me showing my organization before where I bought a bunch of like those pink storages and I told you guys that I was going to like do use them for my vanity and use them for the thing that's behind me. And I also used um, a couple of them in my bathroom to um, organize my like shelving unit that was in my bathroom. Well, well, you guys they came out with some for the fall and I went ahead and picked up some now this time I didn't go super super crazy because I had picked up backups of some of the other baskets so I just went ahead and got two black baskets they look like this I thought these were really really cute um maybe to switch out for um my vanity or maybe I can do like a peak and black type of thing here on my vanity just something really really cute and again I already had these in pink so I really couldn't pass up the black ones you guys know that black is like my favorite color what's new I love black I will stop wearing black when they make something darker literally but I just had to go ahead and grab these so I grabbed two of them I also saw this little measuring cup which I thought was really really cute it was in a couple different colors I want to say it was in green purple and blue I went ahead and grabbed the blue one I was hoping they had another pink one because I've used my pink one to death and it is just like cracking and it looks crazy so I just went ahead and picked up another blue measuring cup I am a tissue freak you guys so when I saw these tissues I went ahead and picked them up these are the frozen ones you guys know that I love Disney so when I saw that they had the frozen ones I had to grab them I love these little Kleenexes to put in my purse um it's hot in Florida so sometimes you need to dab your face sometimes you need to blow your nose whatever you need to do and you know your girl got allergies so I definitely had to get these tissues on deck Okay, so the next two items I want to show you are actually the same item. I just got two of them. This is the 7-Day Peel Organizer. I got one in pink and one in blue, which means one for me and one for my boyfriend. Only because we go out of town so freaking much that, like, we totally forget to take our pills, our vitamins, all that good stuff when we're out of town on the weekends. Our life is, like, really busy and hectic right now. So I definitely thought this would help us stay a little bit organized on the weekends and help us get our life in order with taking our vitamins, especially me because I'm taking different medication and vitamins and all of this good stuff you know how it is when you have PCOS if you don't lucky you but for me I do so I went ahead and grabbed those the next thing I want to show you is this um, shaving cream. My boyfriend actually saw this and he was like, oh, I want to grab it, um, get this, and then he put it back. And then I went ahead and grabbed it for him. He wanted to try it out. It is called Wit and Wisdom. I've never heard of this brand at all. Um, it's just like a shaving cream type of thing in a jar. I don't really know what it smells like because it's like sealed all the way. But once they use it, you guys, if you guys want to know what it smells like or if it's F if it's any good I will definitely let you guys know um in another video okay Jim so the next bag that I have you guys like I picked up a bunch of random different things um but I found some books in the Dollar Tree and this book right here is a it's like a it's a graphic novel I don't know if anybody's into graphic novels or if you have kids that are in graphic novels but for a dollar you really couldn't beat it it's well or um illustrated well put together and I really really like it I think it's kind of a cute book I picked this one up or um from my boyfriend it says the chronicles of Vladimir so I'm not really sure I don't know if anybody's ever heard of this before Buck you couldn't beat it and the next book I picked up is something that I had to have I tried to find two of these books but they only had one it is a monster high um book it says you're invited um pretty scary parties it's like an activity journal and it's just something that's really cute if you're in a monster high then you guys would know about it or if your kids are into monster high you most likely would know about it but I love them because they are freaky fab as they would say and they are different they're not the regular like Barbie type of dolls and they look really really cute and I love their fashion and stuff and my best friend drummer lover Ellie me and her are obsessed with Monster High 
yeah we have dolls and all so yeah i thought this book was really cute and for a dollar i couldn't pass it up i thought it was just so adorable these books usually run about 10 to 12 dollars or more sometimes depending where you get them from walmart or target so a buck i couldn't pass up the deal so the next things that I found from the Dollar Tree, you guys, were some socks. And these socks are really adorable and really cute. I couldn't pass up the little pink and purple, like, leopard print. And then these had, like, the same, like, little leopard print design with some um, stripes, like zebra stripes. And they're in neon colors. I love cute, fun socks. So for a dollar, you really couldn't beat them. I also picked up some nail glue. I went in the beauty aisle and I picked up some nail glue. I just wanted to test it out and see how I would like it. You guys know that I'm into those do-it-yourself nail type of things, especially in between me getting my nails done. And now that I play the guitar or I'm practicing the guitar, I really have to put on press-on so that way I can take them off easily for when I need to practice. So the next couple of things that I got in the bag were a bunch of washi tape and stickers and basically a ton of planner supplies. So I'm going to go through a lot of this washi really really quick so the first thing that I saw was this finding dory washi I had to have this because I picked up a ton of finding dory stickers and I'm going to do a finding dory spread I absolutely love finding Nemo and I still haven't got a chance to see finding dory um I heard a lot of people say it was a really really cute movie so I'm super excited to still see it so I got this because I wanted to do a big finding dory spread in my happy planner then I picked up a ton of washi, you guys. I still haven't seen the Halloween washi as of yet, but I did find all of this. So I found this really pretty green one that had all these gorgeous flowers on it. I found another green one that had like kitty cats and hippos and bears on it. Super adorable. Um, and you know these washies are a dollar so you can't beat them. I also found one that had like wine bottles and cups and stuff like that on it. I thought this was really cool for like maybe um, a drinking type of theme like a girls night out type of theme. So I thought this would definitely go well with that. I also picked up a red one that has like this... Um, it kind of reminds me of like a 70s type of print on it but it's really cute and i just went ahead and grabbed it for a dollar you can't beat it so if i don't like it you know i can always give it away or use it for something else so then this one here that i picked up you guys says birthday and it has cupcakes all over it i think it says happy birthday um on it it doesn't really show the whole thing no it says it's your birthday that's what it says and it has like cupcakes and cake on it and i thought this was really cute and then I picked up one that had these pink owls on it, you guys. I thought this was really cute. I don't know if you guys remember the one that had the green owls, but when I saw this one with the pink owls, I was like, ah, gotta grab it. And then I picked up this one right here. Again, has like a funky type of 70s print, but it has more of a teal background, and it is really, really cute. I was like, oh, I really like this one. I actually liked it better than I liked the red one, but I went ahead and grabbed it anyway because it was a buck, like I said. Then I got a big, huge bag, you guys. I'm just going to grab this bag from the floor. Okay, so I got a huge bag of some stuff. So the first things I want to show you is um, some emoji tape, okay? I don't know if you guys have seen these emoji um, tapes on Instagram, but I know I searched under Dollar Tree and I saw this, so I had to have these. And I actually was with Ellie, and she was kind enough to buy two. So um, I'm super excited to use these in my planner because I already have some emoji stickers that I think will be really cute to put in my planner. Um, she also picked me up this really cute clipboard. When I saw it, I was like, this is so me. She even knew it was me. I love sneakers. I have a shoe fetish, so for especially for sneakers anyway. So, with this little clipboard, I thought it was really adorable, and the background was black, and the shoes were, like, bright and vibrant, so I absolutely loved it. So, thank you, Ellie Bear. And she also picked me up some stickers that she just grabbed and brought over to me. These were really, really cute. They have, like, little owls on them. So freaking cute. And then this one has, like, cupcakes and candy and donuts and lollipops. Oh, so cute. I freaking love this one so, so much. So adorable. And then I picked up a whole bunch of, like, sticker books, you guys. Um, these sticker books, actually, I picked up because, again, like I said, I was going to do the Finding Dory spread in my planner. So when I saw the Finding Dory um, book in the Dollar Tree, I went ahead and picked it up. They have some really cute stickers on the inside. And you get 
It says four pages, so you get 295 plus stickers in each book. And then I saw this label, and I thought this would be really great to put in my planner, especially since I'm going to do the spread. And you get 52 labels, and it just has like all these designs of the Finding Dory. And in that label one, they also had ones that had the Disney princesses. So I had to go ahead and pick those up. You guys know your girl's a Disney freak. So I had to have the Disney princesses. And I was just completely sold on Belle being right there. Because you guys know I love Beauty and the Beast. My favorite cartoon. And... So I also picked up another one. This one I think Ellie actually picked up for me though. This one is a Disney one as well. And it just has like Tiana and Rapunzel, Aurora, Cinderella. Just a bunch of different stickers. And I thought this was really cute. And it comes with a four page of stickers. But it doesn't tell you how many stickers are actually in here on this particular one. But I do feel like it's a good amount. And I also picked up those strips of washi. I don't know if you guys saw those. They had a bunch of those strips of washi that came in a, a pack like this. These are 16. Um, it's a 16 count. And it is from the Jot brand. And it says do it yourself. And if you guys kind of notice, a lot of the prints I held up for the washi are some of the same prints in the packaging. You just get more, of course, if you buy the roll of washi. And then here's what this one looks like, which I thought was really cute. You guys know I love the pink. And then it has, like, the candy. I thought this would be really cute for, like, maybe a donut spread. This one right here I thought was adorable. I also picked up um, a notepad. And this one just starts in January 2017. It's just one of those little notepads that you stick on your refrigerator. I bought my mom a matching one because I absolutely love teacups and tea and all of that good stuff. So I thought this was really adorable to put on my fridge. And the last few stickers are in here. Let me go ahead and grab them all out of the package. So Ellie went ahead and grabbed me these stickers right here, which I thought would be so great to fit inside of my Happy Planner. These are really, really adorable, and I think they are great for a dollar. Again, this is by the brand Jot. It's a 41 count. Jot also had a bunch of letter stickers and um, numbers, so I went ahead and picked up all the letter ones that I thought were really cute. This is like the same style, but just different colors, so I have a silver one a purple one and a blue one which I thought were really really cute to um maybe put your you know put out words in your planner um or you can like write put your name in the beginning especially like the happy planner says this planner belongs to it would be really really cute to do it with these letters instead of handwriting it so I just thought there was a lot of ideas that you could definitely do with um these letters in your planner I also picked up some of these. Um, this one I really feel like is an older version. And my Dollar Tree just happened to have it. I think I had two of these. Yeah, I do. And it is the X and O ones. And they look like this. This is from the Job brand as well. They just are like those 3D type of stickers. They're really, really cute. Um, I actually think this one may be for Valentine's Day. That's what I think this is for. So the last few stickers that I actually have, I thought these were super adorable. I actually already used one set and I'm super glad I got a backup. It is these right here. I thought these were so freaking cute. Just like kind of like that shabby chic type of look. And these are really adorable. And then I got these ones as well that have like butterflies. And again, it has that same shabby chic type of look. Really cute to put in your planner and decorate. I absolutely love doing my planner every week. If you are not following me on Instagram, you definitely should. I will link it down below so you guys can um, go over and follow me. I do my planner every week and I love it. So this right here, I thought these were so freaking cute. They're like foiled flowers and they're so adorable. But I only found one package of these um, stickers and they look so cute. I can't wait to use these. I absolutely love them. Okay, Jim, so I totally lied. I had more stickers in another bag. I am a sticker freak. So these stickers I just recently picked up as well. And these stickers um, my uncle actually picked up for me. So these ones right here, are, again, are from the Jot brand. And they were really, really cute. They are coming out with a lot of cute designs lately. And I am absolutely loving it. I am here for a Jot. So these stickers were really adorable. I also um, grabbed these ones right here that said home, or this says home sweet home, and then it says live, love, laugh. I thought this was just really adorable. I thought about doing this for like when I go home to stay for a while. I thought this would be really, really cute to do for like a week or so. I thought it was really adorable. So 
they have a lot of styles of these coming in jot does so you guys should definitely look around your dollar tree or um and again like i said you know what i always say you guys all the dollar trees are not created equal all dollar trees are definitely not created equal because i haven't even seen these particular stickers here in tampa i actually had to go out of town like where my mom lives to actually find these so just keep that in mind but just keep looking keep searching i think that's part of the fun is going on a hunt to find stuff and then i also got these stickers right here i couldn't pass them up because i thought they were so adorable with the little princess that has like the frog and the carriage and the shoes it was really really cute i thought this was adorable kind of has that like cinderella-esque type of thing going on and then these last particular stickers were really cute i really wish they had another pack of these and these were like hot air balloons but they're all different colors with rainbows and sunshine and clouds i thought this was so cute very very girly or lisa frank s to me i love lisa frank so these were popping out and jumping out at me on the um rack i was like i gotta get these so then the next thing i picked up i went in the electronic aisle they never really have a lot of things that i'm looking for in the electronic aisle but i just so happened to find my pink headphones that i have been looking for i wanted these so badly these are by kobe and they're just some hot pink earbuds and for a dollar you can't beat it because i do believe kobe is like a huge name brand i think in walmart and they sell for probably like 10 to 20 dollars or so so to grab these for a buck i thought that was a deal they had them in pink blue and black and i had to have the pink ones of course so i'm gonna head and grab those so my very last bag i was like actually looking for it like trying to figure out like i knew i I had one more bag i picked up these labels i'm not even sure why i picked them up i'm not in love with them i think i'm gonna include them in a giveaway i'm pretty sure somebody else could probably benefit from these um labels these are a jot label and they were 50 in a pack and they come in quite a few different colors inside of the pack um, I really feel like I'm not going to really use them for anything, but I do think that maybe they may work for somebody else. So I'm thinking about giving a, doing a Dollar Tree giveaway or on my channel or either on Instagram. You guys let me know down below in the comments below. What do you think? Should I do it on my channel or should I do it more on Instagram I think I want to do it on my channel, but I'm not sure as of yet, but you guys let me know, but I think somebody could benefit from these. And then the last things that I picked up, you guys, were some bags, some gift bags. Now that I have a happy planner, there's so many things and ideas that I have. So I went ahead and picked up a couple of gift bags. So the first one I picked up was, of course, Disney with all the Disney princesses. And, you know, I really picked it up for this girl right here. I'm in love with Belle and I love Ariel as well. Um, Cinderella. Oh, like, I just love these girls. I'm not a big fan of Snow White. Like, we can leave her with her ha, ha, ha we can leave her off somewhere okay she works my nerves but anyway i picked up two of these bags and then i went ahead and picked up this frozen bag i had to have it if you guys don't know i love anna and elsa they are so cute and i love the dollar tree bags these bags are a dollar but they are really great quality so i went ahead and grabbed them up when you see these gift bags in the store anywhere just grab them up you guys because they go really really quick I remember when I was looking for a couple of bags a while back that people had posted on Instagram. I, it took me forever to find them, and I actually didn't even find all of them. I was only able to find one, and I didn't even find it. Ellie found it. So if you guys are looking for something in Dollar Tree and you see it, don't think about it. Don't re don't don't be like dawdle on it. Like oh, I don't know if I'm gonna get it or not. Pick it up because I'm telling you, it's not gonna be there when you go back. And again, like I say, you guys, all Dollar Trees definitely are not created equal. So that was the last of the things that I picked up in my Dollar Tree haul. I will have a Halloween edition coming up very soon for you guys for all the things that I pick up for Halloween to decorate my apartment or decorate outside. I think I want to kind of decorate my door. Um, I definitely think that would be something really, really cute. You guys let me know. Uh, I know this video is a little bit everywhere. I'm sorry about that. I got stuff to do. I've been so busy lately, you guys, with just a whole bunch of things. Practicing my guitar. I've been in and out of town. Just so many things. Also, me and Ellie are going to be filming a couple of videos for you guys coming soon. 
So don't forget to look out for those. Don't forget to follow me on all my social media. You guys know the spill. Um, Instagram, Snapchat, all those good places. I really am not on Snapchat much anymore because for some reason Snapchat is just slowing down a lot on my um, phone. And I don't know if it's better for iPhone users versus Android users. But yeah, I'm kind of a little bit over Snapchat being crazy. So if you want to catch a girl, definitely catch me on Instagram or Facebook. And I'll have everything linked down below so you guys can follow me and we can chit chat back and forth. And don't forget to thumb this video up. If you guys are loving my Dollar Tree hauls, definitely thumbs up this video. Make sure you guys comment down below. Let me know what you would like to see. Um, would you like to go along with me and Ellie for our Dollar Tree hauls? Because most of the time I'm with Ellie or my boyfriend but if you guys want to happen to see vlogs and go shopping with me while I'm doing it I think that would be really fun as well just let me know down below in the comments and I will see my beautiful gemstones in another video so like I always say it's not about how much it costs it's how you apply it so keep doing your thing and stay beautiful bye gem